Hey everybody, John here from IncomeMesh.com, and in this video, we're going to talk about Google Analytics. If you've been around the online business space for any period of time, I know you've heard of Google, Google Analytics. If you've got it installed on your website and you've browsed the dashboards, you might be a little overwhelmed and maybe you look at it once every few months and you put it away. And that's not the right way to use it. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain the easiest way I think you can install Google Analytics the right way and get it done perfectly every single time, as well as a free option and a paid option to enhance your Google Analytics experience. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. So first off, a way that I started to install Google Analytics on all my websites was to do something kind of like this. I'd go into my uh, dashboard. I'm currently using Thrive Themes, and if you use Divi or Astra or any of those other types of themes, this is how you do a version of this where I'd go into the back end settings and I would go over to analytics and scripts and I would install a header script right here. I copy and paste it from my Google analytics dashboard. I am recommending that you don't do this. Don't do what I have done. Um, there's a reason for this. If you ever do decide to upgrade your theme, change things out, you could lose that Google analytics script. And yes, it's not that big of a deal to go back in and reinstall it. Uh, with the next theme you decide to upgrade into, but why? You don't need to do it that way because you don't need to have that additional level of stress going through a theme change is a big deal already. So I'm gonna show you a free and a paid way of doing this through a plugin. And plugins are great if you go with a reputable plugin. You can always find some that have no reviews, very few active installs, and I'd tell you to shy away from it. But if you find premium and well-supported plugins, they are not going to slow down your site and they can add some additional enhancements to your website like we're going to see on this video right now. Okay, so now I'm going to show you two different options for installing uh, analytics with a plugin and the benefits of this are twofold. One is you're going to get it done the right time, the right way every single time, excuse me, and number two is it's going to enhance your experience with Google Analytics, make it easier to use and understand, and put it in a place where you'll actually look at it instead of having to remind yourself to go and look at your analytics. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. So here we're in our plugin section on my website. I'm going to go and go to add new, and I'm going to recommend Analytify. We'll go ahead and type this in. And the reason I recommend this is it's super simple. It's well supported. It was updated four days ago. And honestly, there's a lifetime deal right now that's really, really great for the pro version. And we'll walk through that here in this video. So I'll activate the plugin. Another thing that's great about using plugins for Google Analytics is you actually don't even need to copy and paste any JavaScript. So let's go ahead and do this together. I'll go into Analytify here and go to my settings. And now I'll just allow this option here. And then all you have to do is log in with your Google Analytics account and click the green button. <laughs> Couldn't be easier than that. Choose my account, allow. And just like that, Google Analytics is installed. Ta-da! <laughs> it can't be any easier than that. And what's great about this is because it's a plugin, if I ever do change my theme, the plugin is still there. So I'm always going to have that tracking and it's done the right way. Okay, so now let's walk through the profile here together. Install Google Analytics tracking code. They have a little uh, question mark here to help you out between the header tags and your website. So if you've already included, if you've done like the theme option as well, you would not do this. However, I actually deactivated uh, the way I had installed Google Analytics before this video. So I'll say yes, give that Google Analytics tracking code, and I'm good to go here. You can also, this is wonderful, exclude users from tracking. So if you're logged into your website, I actually made a video and a blog post. I'll link up in the corner here somewhere uh, where I show you how to exclude IP addresses from Google Analytics data. This makes it even easier than that. So golly, thanks for solving the problem as well. So you can actually say if you're logged in as an administrator, exclude that data from Google Analytics. That's perfect. And then uh, you, a few other options here, but let's just go ahead and... Go ahead and go into we're not going to go into the advanced or anything like that let's just go ahead and say save changes and now let's see what we get from this so now we can go to our dashboard and this is the second reason so we just covered the first reason i got it installed in a couple clicks without any without even having to go to my analytics dashboard now the second reason is i'm never going to not know how i'm doing <laughs> let's go here Oh, let me select my website profile real quick. Yeah, 
das. So I'll go to authentication. I'm logged in. Oh, here we go. Profile for dashboard. And I'll select this website web page here. Profile for posts here. And I have several different implementations of Google Analytics. You'll probably just have uh, your one with your Google Analytics account. So then hit save. And while this is loading, you know, one of the common concerns is, oh my gosh, is this plugin going to slow down my site? No, there is documentation on their website you can go in and look at, but essentially this is doing the same exact thing that what you did before uh, was doing, installing it through your theme or putting code into your website. This is simply uh, giving you a nice way in the back end of your website to use the data now and actually make uh, some value from it. So we'll go to our dashboard. And here it comes. This is the first time, so it might take a little bit of time. And look how look how nice this is. Like, wouldn't you want to look at this all day long? I'm, I'm a geek, I know, but th this is a great way to go. Uh, so here you can select your time frame very easily, and you can see your stats, and you can see very easily the sessions as well as you know month over month growth, visitors, month over month growth, everything, new versus returning, and all this information. To be fair, it can be found in your analytics dashboard. The problem is it's really hard to get to and it takes many more clicks and it's just not that easy uh, to use. But here you can see very quickly my top pages by views. Uh, you can see the geographic region where people are coming from, what devices they're browsing your website on. And then you get into the premium features where you have more graphs, more charts, more fun ways of digging into your data. And we're gonna look through that in just a minute. Let's just keep scrolling through to see what we get on the free version how people are finding you. So this is pretty cool. So actually the ranking keywords that you're getting found by, this is exciting. Which social media platforms you're getting most traffic from. Again, uh, so you know even your emails and newsletters, how those are doing. So this is a very, this is actually actionable data versus, you know, sometimes you look at the Google Analytics dashboard and you've got to click 47 times just to get to where you start to understand what's going on. So now what we're going to do is take a pause here. I'm actually going to uh, purchase the pro version here and install it. And we'll go ahead and take a look at what the uh, enhancements are from that. But before we go there, let's go ahead and show you they, they include a nice little pro versus free comparison chart within the plugin itself. So you can see you're actually going to get real live stats directly in your WordPress dashboard. So how many users are on your site right now, which pages you can do that without having to go off your website. Comparison stats, short codes, extensions, a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's go ahead and check this thing out and we'll come right back and show it off. Okay, so here we are on AppSumo and you can see their feature deal here to simplify with Analytify. Pretty nice little tagline here. And you can kind of browse through this uh, a little bit. I've taken a look at it and decided this is one that is definitely worth uh, giving a shot. And what you get with here is a lifetime access for up to five websites, as well as email notifications. So you can get a weekly a newsletter, a weekly update on how things are going. Also, if you're planning on selling things on your website, which I am planning on doing, uh, this has the WooCommerce add-on available. So you can actually see how your customers are performing, uh, which channels are coming from, and all that good stuff. And a goals add-on dashboard, which add on all sorts of things that make this a very attractive deal uh, for being under $50. So let's go ahead and I'll just complete the purchase process and come right back once it's here. We can install it together. Alrighty, so we're back. I've completed my purchase. I got my little impulse out of the way here. So let's go ahead and go back into our plugins. I've downloaded uh, several plugins here, the pro version, the goals, and additional add-ons here. So we'll install them together and take a look. So I'll go straight in and start putting in the pro plugin. I'll be curious because I would have expected it to all live within the same plugin I just installed, but it looks like this will actually um, overtake the original one. So there we go. We've got this plugin installed. And I'll just kind of speed through this to get the rest of them installed as well. Okay, well, that took a little while here. Uh, so now, now we've included all of the plugins that came with a lifetime deal. So let's go back to our Analytify and just hover over here. Now you can see some additional uh, options here. We've got goals now, campaigns, email notifications, settings, and add-ons. So let's go ahead and go back to our dashboard and just see kind of how things are looking now that we've upgraded to a pro membership. <laughs> and this is fantastic. So immediately you're greeted with the real-time stats for how many visitors are online, your referrals, your organic social, where they came from, 
You can see uh, visitor trends over time. And uh, you get the same from the free version. A lot of very useful data here, as well as what's happening when people come to your site. So where are they entering from? Where are they exiting from? Very, very interesting information. Easy to consume. All right, so you got dashboards, real-time demographics. So these are probably just uh, anchor links. Takes you to different spots. So now we're on the campaign statistics. So I'll probably need to set up some campaigns to really show how this is going. Okay, so these are individual emails that I send from MailerLite, and I can see how each one is performing. Pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and head over to add-ons. And here you've got already installed. The only one I did not install was uh, e easy digital downloads because I don't use that. I'm planning on using WooCommerce, but everything else is good to go. So if you're looking for Google Analytics data to become easier to use, more manageable, and super simple to install and maintain as your blog grows and develops, I do recommend Analytify. This is obviously my first impression of it. So if anything changes along this, I'll be sure to comment on this video or release a new video with new information. So if you've enjoyed this, uh, you know, definitely pick up the free version of Analytify and give it a shot. And if you're spunky like me, go ahead and give it uh, the, the pro a try. With AppSumo, you have a good return policy just to make sure that everything is just right. And if you would like to support this channel, go ahead and uh, go to incomemesh.com slash Analytify, and that'll be in the description as well below to uh, help me out a little bit and support the channel. So if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, hit the bell, and share with your friends. Talk to you guys next time.